Hello everyone and welcome back to Blizzard Blitz, your weekly source of Blizzard news and comment for the week of March 7th, 2017. In the headlines today, a new hero is on the PTR for both Heroes of the Storm and Overwatch. Diablo Season 9 end date has been announced. Big Heroes of the Storm patch is currently on the PTR and of course, patch 3.11 has hit StarCraft. Overwatch Created by the child prodigy Effie Oladell, holy I said that wrong, Orissa will be joining the cast of Overwatch, and my god, is she a good time. Built from the scraps of OR-15 defense bots, Orissa takes on the tank role in battle, providing a shield, a mini turret on her arm, and a deployable supercharger ultimate that increases ally damage if they are in the area. She is the sixth tank to join Overwatch, and her gameplay is built around making a stand with her team. After playing her on the PTR for a couple hours, she is definitely fun to play, but I have a feeling she'll be nerfed before long. There are also some changes to pre-existing heroes, including a nerf to Bastion's survivability while in Sentry and tank configuration. His survivability is only 20% down from 35%. StarCraft Patch 3.11 Dead of Night is live on the StarCraft servers as of today. With it comes a new co-op mission based on the popular arcade game, Left to Die. Destroy as many infested nests as possible during the day to increase your chances of surviving throughout the night. Uh, of course, with this patch is a bunch of balancing changes as well as minor bug fixes. For a complete list of patch notes, check out the link in the description. Of note is the Kerrigan Commander changes with three new mastery powers. Diablo Season 9 is ending. I should probably get back to streaming some Diablo then. Jeez, that was really fast. Of course, a season ending means a lot of things. All of the gold and items collected on your seasonal characters will now be transferred to non-seasonal. This is still a good time to get level 70 on characters just in case you want that transmog. I personally might try to do it on a wizard. Season 9 will end in North America on Friday, March 17th at 5 p.m. PDT, Europe at 5 p.m. CET, and Asia at 5 p.m. KST. Season 10 will begin on Friday, March 31st, roughly two weeks later, at 5 p.m. PDT, 5 p.m. CET, and 5 p.m. KST. Heroes of the Storm. Lots of news today for you HOTS fans. The PTR is amazing right now, and we have been introduced to Probius, the StarCraft II probe unit who plays a lot like an actual probe unit. Probius is a rain specialist who can summon in pylons and create huge explosions, damaging those inside the radius. It's two ultimates. One of them will actually turn his pylons into damage-dealing cannons, and the other one will create a null wall that will actually damage and slow those who pass through it. While Probius is busy doing little probe things, some changes have also been applied to existing heroes. Gazlo has received some much needed changes, while Arthas has had some pretty significant changes, increasing his crowd control capabilities and survivability while reducing the damage he can deal. Anubarak has also changed a little bit, focusing now on a true blue anti-caster warrior by lowering the cooldown on burrowing charge and applying a slow. Worth mentioning is the pretty significant nerfs to Johanna and Tyriel. No longer will that Johanna be a bastion of femdom... You get it. Oh, and uh, pretty much a complete redesign of Cho and Gaul. Maybe because starting March 14th, Two heads are better than one begins. This is an in-game event that will allow people who have Cho'Gal to spread him like a disease to other players. Win two games playing as Cho or Gal while paired with someone who has Cho'Gal. It's as easy as that. The free hero rotation is as follows. Lunara, Ragnaros, Samuel, Tychus, Vala, Zul, Malfurion, Rhaegar, Arthas, and Stitches. For more on patch notes, check out the link in the description, and remember that this is the last week to complete the four Azeroth quest and receive your in-game mounts. World of Warcraft. I'm really sorry, Hearthstone fans. Besides the Angoro reveal, not much is currently happening. Moving on! Today starts the weekly event, Mist of Pandaria Time Walking. If you didn't experience the glory of Panda Dungeons before, <laughs> uh, now is the perfect time. 
A beautiful mount could be yours. It's one of the serpents. And this event is available to anyone over level 90. Nighthold Raid Finder Wing 4 has officially opened. Get ready to face Gul'dan within the font of night. Dark Moon Fair is live until March 11th, so be sure to grab that experience buff if you are leveling alts in prep for 7.2, which doesn't have a release date yet. And perhaps my biggest piece of news, World of Warcraft Chronicle Volume 2 is available next week. This is a must-have for all you lore nerds out there, it's pretty much the only complete saga. I recently read the Chronicle Volume 1 and it is amazing. It is amazing, highly recommend picking up Volume 2. And there you have it everyone, your weekly source of Blizzard news and content for the week of March 7th, 2017. Now if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like. This is uh, hopefully going to be the return of the weekly show. I'm actually really excited. It's a lot of fun producing these, and I hope you guys liked it. Please let me know in the comments below as well what story I covered today that you were most looking forward to. Me, personally, I'm looking forward to playing a lot of Probe Probius and Heroes of the Storm. Showing up on screen right now as well is a video that YouTube has chosen specifically for you and a playlist that I have chosen specifically for you. Also, there is a Patreon button showing up somewhere. If you go ahead and click that, for just a dollar a month, you can get early access to videos like this. Thank you all very much for watching, and remember, never give up, never surrender.